Because we live in a three-dimensional world, vectors are essential in studying physics. Before we learn about all the mathematics involved in vectors, let's learn how to use a computer to help us draw vectors. There are three ways that you can draw a vector. One way is to specify the vector's magnitude and direction. A vector's magnitude tells you the size of the vector. For a distance vector, magnitude is the length from one end to the other. For a force vector, magnitude is the strength of the force. A vector's direction tells you how the vector is oriented. It's customary in physics to give direction as an angle from the positive x-axis. This angle is measured in degrees, with a positive angle rotating counterclockwise and a negative angle rotating clockwise. A second way to draw a vector is to specify the vector's x component and y component. A vector's x component tells you how far in the left and right direction this vector points. A positive x component points to the right, while a negative x component points to the left. A vector's y component tells you how far in the up and down direction the vector points. A positive y component points up, while a negative y component points down. That means there are four combinations of signs for your vector components. When you draw a vector based on its components, draw the x component first and then the y component coming off of the end of the x component. Doing so creates a right triangle, which we'll discuss more in another video. Finally, you can specify a vector with a starting point and an ending point. This process is similar to giving a vector's components, but it allows you to start the vector at any point and not just at the origin. This Python code, available in the description below, enables us to draw vectors in the three ways we just discussed. The first line allows us to use the vPython programming library, which makes drawing vectors on the screen incredibly easy. The second line creates a grid on the screen that allows us to make simple measurements of our vectors. You can use the function magdegrees to draw a vector by entering a magnitude and an angle. The magnitude is measured in the spaces shown on the grid, and the angle is measured in degrees from the x-axis like we discussed earlier. An angle between 0 and 90 goes into the upper right quadrant, an angle between 90 and 180 goes into the upper left quadrant, an angle between 180 and 270 goes into the lower left quadrant, and an angle between 270 and 360 goes into the lower right quadrant. You can make two vectors point in the opposite direction by giving them angles that differ by 180 degrees. The third input in the function allows you to set the color of the vector you're drawing. vPython knows many common color names, but you need to add color dot at the beginning of each name so that it knows you're referring to a color and not a variable. Second, you can use the function xy to draw a vector by entering an x component and a y component. A positive x component will make the vector point in the rightward direction, while a negative x component will make the vector point in the leftward direction. A positive y component will make the vector point in the upward direction, while a negative y component will make the vector point in the downward direction. The four possible combinations of signs for x and y each correspond to the different quadrants we identified earlier. You can make two vectors point in the opposite direction by giving them opposite components. Finally, you can use the function start end to draw a vector by entering a starting point and an ending point. This function is a little more complicated than the previous two because each input in the function needs to be a pair of values that give a coordinate. The vector starts at the first coordinate in the function and ends at the second coordinate. This means that you can make two vectors point in the opposite direction by flipping their starting and ending points. You have now learned how to draw vectors in Python using magnitude and direction, x and y components, and starting and ending points. In the description below, you can find more activities to perform using this code. To see how these functions work, you can also check out the end of the code, which takes care of all the vector drawing. This code uses a library called vPython that makes drawing on screen easy. Each vector visual is created using a function called arrow that draws an arrow at a specified location with a specified length and direction.